Hi there, Aquarius. Welcome into your October 2022 intuitive card reading, where I will be tuning into spirit and seeing what messages and guidance will be coming in for you for this month ahead, as well as weaving in the astrology to help you, support you, meet this moment. My name is Chrissy Whistler. I am an intuitive, an astrologer, and I'm also a healer. So if you are really struggling right now and you need support, please reach out. You will find information at my website at the link below, christywhistler.com. I offer private readings as well as birth chart readings. And please like and subscribe, um, share this video. Uh, so we can get this out there to more people like you who are ready to take back your life and make the changes that your soul is asking of you at this time. All right, Aquarius. Now, this is for my Aquarius uh, sun, moon, and rising signs. Aquarius. So for October, wild. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling this energy of how can you let your wild, um, passionate, sensual self out into the world? Like And not even just out necessarily out into the world. Now, for some of you, that is going to be absolutely true. But this is, this feels like an inside job kind of energy, like what in you, Aquarius, what needs to be almost realigned, so you can go and be your wild, sensual, passionate self. Um, and I'm also with this image, I'm really feeling of this, um, go into the wild of your soul. Um, go into this adventure, this unknown, this wild, this re- I'm hearing the world word wildling, reclaiming of your wildling self. And you may be going on an actual, um, or again, this inside journey into that. And what is that for you? How has that been missing from your life this October? Yeah, there's this, this a lot of healing energy, opportunity to return return to that wildling self um, that wildling child within you that might have had to get put down or put away because maybe it wasn't acceptable it wasn't allowed okay i'm just um i'm going to keep pulling some more cards and see how else this message wants to um, to evolve? Because there's there's a lot here I'm feeling. There's a lot here. It's like yeah, this adventure, adventure into yourself. Okay, let's add to the spirit for Aquarius. I've got, okay, I am presence, the crown chakra, and then we have, oh, look at that, abundance, root chakra, okay, that is adding to this message, okay, so Aquarius, Wow, like this 
I am presence energy. It's like you may be on this journey into the wild to like reconnect back into the true essence of who you are. Um, your soul, your higher self, like there's, um, it, it almost feels like there has been this disconnection and you need to go into the wilderness to find the truth of who you are, to find your I am. So in fact, um, Aquarius, that's the question I'm hearing from spirit. Who are you? What is your I am for you? Like, yes, and there's this, you need to reclaim that, Aquarius. You need to go on this journey, go into this, um, this adventure. And I'm, and I'm feeling as well, like she's got this lantern. She's going into the unknown, into the fog. And that lantern showing her the way forward, like that's your soul. So your soul is calling you into this unknown to uncover and discover and re, like rediscover, come into this new, not new alignment, but come into realignment with the truth of who your soul is and who you've been this entire time. But for whatever reason, again, there's like this, this disconnection got shoved under the rug you couldn't be your true wild self your I am presence you had to hide it um, and this is absolutely beautiful because um, I'm feeling with this abundance card is like when you come into alignment when you go on this journey um, within yourself to reclaim the I am of who you are Aquarius it's going to bring you this abundance that you've been waiting for um some of you have been waiting a really long time for this and you might have been really frustrated because it hasn't been coming it hasn't been happening and the reason for that is like there's been this missing piece and that missing piece is the truth of who you are of who your soul is um to be your wildling self however that is for you. And again, like I'm getting this into adventure, um, your sensuality, like your full presence, um, you know, not just, it's not even just this love and light. It's love, light, shadow. It is light and dark. I'm embracing your own like light goddess and dark goddess or your own light god, dark god, you know, or however you would like to orientate that. But it's like both embracing the light and the dark within you. And that that's not even the dark is not bad. It's it's just another side of that coin, that truth of your soul. Um, So some of you that that part may not be relevant at all. But for others of you, I really feel that strongly. But again, it's going into the wild, into the wilderness, reconnecting to who I am, to who you are, your presence, your soul, and it's going to bring you into this root chakra stability, the resources, the abundance, that's, that physical safety that you have been longing for. It will come. But you first have to go on this journey. You first have to go into this reclamation of your I am. All right, let's keep going. Let's see what the astrology has to say. Okay, look at this. 11th house, um, Aquarius, that is your house. And then we have... And then we have Saturn, which is absolutely beautiful. And then we have Scorpio. All right, Aquarius. So I'm just tuning into this um, astrology elements for you. So um, just general right now, we have Saturn. The planet of Saturn is actually in your own sign, Aquarius, right now. 
So there's tying in beautifully to this 11th house energy as well. Um, and then we have Scorpio. Currently, the south node of the moon is in Scorpio. And, um, and we are going to be having a solar eclipse in Scorpio on October 25th. So that's going to be really playing into this message, but that's general kind of overall astrology of what's going on with these planets and signs. So, all right, um, this 11th house energy, this is all about um, community, uh, experimentation, doing things differently, um, divine discontent, being able to see uh, the imperfections of the world and in your life and that energy of like, yeah, well, I can do it better. I'm going to go and try and do it better. I'm going to experiment and see what happens. It's um, 11th house is high octave. Aquarius is really letting yourself be who you are. Be weird, be different, be unusual, be your mad scientist genius self and just letting yourself be that very progressive energy. Um, again, very revolutionary energy, revolutionary energy. So it's that divine discontent, seeing what's not working and being willing to go and try new things to make it better. So that is important because that is exactly where Saturn is, is in, is in your uh, sign of Aquarius. So Saturn is all about um, systems, structures in our world, um, it's regulations, it's, um, it's, it's skills and talents and how capable are you? That's, that's a lot of the Saturn energy. And so what I'm seeing with the, these two together with Saturn being in Aquarius, it's this energy of um, building new systems and structures in our society, uh, in our world, in our communities, and daring to do it differently. Being willing to go against the grain Saturn is currently retrograde and will be stationing direct at the end of October. So this is a really good time to reflect in your life, Aquarius, on what's not working, on what can be done better, especially with community, with systems, um, structures. And how can you do it differently? So this wild card is really, in, in this energy, it's really calling you in. Be different. Be yourself. Go on this journey of discovering who that is. And um, you may be someone who can really bring this out into the world. You can be a builder of this wisdom. Like that could be part of your career. Um, and as you do that and follow the wildness of your soul and your I am presence, why you are here, what it, you are being called to do, um, very humanitarian based, that could be part of it as well, of this giving back and giving to community can be really leading into this deep abundance energy that's coming forward. Um, I'm hearing as well, Aquarius, that you need to give yourself recognition and pats on the back for your skills and capabilities, your difference, your differences, your wildness that's on your soul. Like if people around you aren't going to see this as for who you are as someone who is following um, the joy on your soul, going into the wild, going into the unknown, like then they're not for you. Like, 
sorry, like that spirit's kind of like coming in so fast. It's, it's hard to keep track. Um, it's like, they're not for you. Like you, you are here to be wild, to be different, to go experiment, to come into you. And if no one around you is going to say, wow, like you're super brave for going and doing that and going into the unknown, spirit is saying you can give that recognition for yourself and that you should because what you are doing is brave and it is courageous and you are going to be coming into a real deep truth of who you are. Um, again, like I just keep picking up on this revolutionary energy um, that you are capable of bringing forward if that's part of your calling, Aquarius. Now, this is a collective message. So for some of you, that might not be it at all. But it's almost like where in your life is that needed? Where in your life are you seeing this need to do things differently, to be different, to be the truth of who you are? Um, and coming into the Scorpio energy, um, you might... I say might, um, but it's like you will need to be going into the deep with us. Um, don't be afraid to go into the shadows because that is where your boat needs to take you. That is the journey you are needing to be on to understand the full truth of who you are to understand again like what it is your soul is bringing forward your calling your I am presence and again I just I feel that revolutionary energy that you're here to be someone who's almost this guide of how to do it differently to bring about this change because you're not afraid to go into the wild you're not afraid to go into the depths and it's exactly where spirit is needing you to go it's where your soul is needing you to go um, don't be surprised if you find that past experiences are being brought to the surface for you this can be early childhood this could be past lives as well like and you may not even recognize them that clearly like oh that's from my childhood this it, it's like you could actually be coming in through emotions and intense feelings that w can be almost like your gateway your clue in to what your soul is bringing forward for you to look at and see to go on this journey of healing and reclaiming this wildness and back into yourself but yeah, like it's this energy of what's been swept under the rug, especially regarding you um, in your true aligned self that will be coming to the surface to be seen and to be healed through this October. And um, again, feeling it very strongly around October 25th. Um, Eclipse energies are really strong. They're pivot points. So this could be an energy that you are healing and working through and reclaiming. Um, like from now until the next six months is when we have our next eclipse cycle. Just seeing if there's any other astrology energy I need to add for you. And yeah, that's right. Um, so when Saturn goes direct and again that's at the end of October right around this eclipse season this oh, I'm trying to put this in words this retrograde energy is not something to be afraid of this is actually going to be really helping you Aquarius with your 11th house because retrograde energies are very much Uranian in nature they're reflective they're um introspective seeing what's not working divine discontent how can we do it better so you may be really seeing this in your personal world even in collective um, 
how there may have been a repression in your life uh, in the past of being your true self, of being the full wildling of your soul, uh, and if even your little, your younger child. And um, again, like she will be able to see it easier. Um, and then as Saturn goes direct, you may find that you have an actual like, it like a, it feels like you can finally move forward because now you now you have a better understanding now you have answers so now you can do that hard work that Saturn's wanting you to do um, so you, what you're building what you're creating this journey you're going on it's for the long term so it's like it may take you a bit to get it off the ground to go on that that journey this healing this for some of you it's really healing and others of you it's it's so much more and bigger it is a career it is something you're bringing forth into the world um but just know that you may find it it's like one step after another one and then one and another and not just like lightning boom it's you're you're at the end game so it's and that's because what you're bringing forward is it's meant to be long lasting it's meant to withstand time and what you're bringing forward is so different it is so wild oh my gosh I love that um and it's almost like it needs a whole setup a whole stage for the people around you for our world to really understand the depth of what you're bringing in to really get behind what you're bringing in but don't despair because you are coming into this beautiful abundance on the other side of that Okay, Aquarius, let's um let's keep adding to this message. For some of you, I'm feeling like the world needs this wildness, this uniqueness that you're really here to bring forward. And don't don't be afraid of it. Oh wow, those just flipped. Okay. Let's see what we've got here. Okay, look at that. Warrior. So be fearless, Aquarius. Stand strong in what you are here to bring forward. Um the animal guardian. Trust your instincts you are not wrong you know exactly um you know what you're doing oh i mean and that and that's right under the saturn so yes trust your instincts um give yourself accolades for your skills and your talents what you know trust in them they're not wrong other people around you may not understand and see but keep going stay strong and move forward and anyway and then we have the hermit retreat and recharge okay so um, that's actually really beautiful because don't be afraid Aquarius to pull back when you need to to go within um, and to heal to recharge um, it's like you, it feels like a dance, actually, Aquarius. Like you will be dancing between these energies. Um, and, and, it, and I'm really feeling like this, it, I'm feeling this, this stretch. Like this is this journey that you were on that you're bringing forward. So like if this is for you, this six months until the next eclipse cycle, like make sure in between the going out there and being strong and being fearless on whatever it is that you're here to do you're bringing in go retreat when you have to don't burn yourself out is what i'm hearing and trust as well that you know when it's time to do this uh, in spirits asking me to say like this isn't just necessarily six month reading it's going to be different for each of you how this energy is going to be playing out 
but just know that even if this really is like your October personally, um, you are going to need moments of going within. So trust, trust and listen to yourself. Like you're going to know what that is. Don't follow the standard Saturn uh, current world culture of productivity of doing, doing, doing and efforting all the time. Um, for you to get here, you're going to need to go within. You're going to need to go, yeah, go within to go on that journey into the unknown of who you are and coming into this I am presence. And you're, you're not going to be able to do that if you're only doing the productivity of Saturn. So what is your balance going to be, Aquarius? It's going to be different for each of you. But you will know if you tune in and listen. Really, really listen. We have the wish upon a star and call of the muse. So that's really beautiful. Um, I'm obvious. I'm really. I mean, we have a child here, but I was really again like picking up on that inner child energy that childlike wonder, that childlike belief, that magic. So call that back to yourself, Aquarius. Um, especially this October, don't be afraid to make a wish, to wish upon a star, to dream. Your dreams are much stronger than you know. And when you really tune into this I am of who you are, um, boy, like that's going to just be so tied in to this abundance. But don't, some of you, it's like, don't be afraid to wish. Don't be afraid to dream. Um, and call of the muse, like I, I, I'm, I really am picking up on this, this childlike wonder child belief in magic like go dance with the fairies um tuning back into your inner child to what you love and what you enjoy what your muse is like that actually kind of feels part of this wild journey that you were on into coming back into who you are And, and trust in what you're hearing. Trusting, trust in the song that you might be hearing within your soul, um, the dance that you're wanting to dance to. Because it's all part of it. And you may need that retreating and going within so you can hear, so you can make that wish. Yeah, some of you, being strong just to dance to go out there and let yourself dance. I feel that as well. All right, let's um, pull one final message and see what spirit animal guide is coming in for you, Aquarius, to help you. Okay. We have the white stag, protector. You are an old soul. Your best friend is nature. Use your intuition to take you where you want to go. Awaken to the powerful force within you. You are meant to create blessings with your magic. Okay, so. Wow, Aquarius, like listen to your instincts. Listen, trust. Um, 
you may find that you need to go within and be in nature okay like that for you might be your place where you can retreat and recharge from the world um this is eclipse season this can this can be a really intense time that we're coming into so this energy of going within may be very strong for you and you may need to really do that so you can keep staying in your center and going on that journey but this your intuition is leading you forward Aquarius it is taking you exactly where you need to go which is back to within yourself and you will be awakening to this power within you already you are meant to be here you are meant to be creating um, blessings to share with the world and doing things differently, unique, doing it on yours. Like you have this beautiful wish on your soul, wish it. And then start walking your path to make it happen, to be fearless. Be fearless this October. You are here to create so much with your magic with you, with this calling of your soul and it's going to be bringing you into this beautiful abundance keep trusting keep walking keep following the wonder of your soul the wonder of your own inner child your wildling within you don't despair don't don't give up keep going forward like you've got this you are protected you are protected as you journey into the unknown into the truth of who you are rediscovering and relearning dancing dancing to the tune that your inner child can hear hope that was helpful Aquarius um, if you need support if you're really struggling with this going into the unknown and you're having a hard time being fearless and strong in the face of everyone around you especially our world and as it is please again reach out after private readings and birth chart readings so we can see how these energies are coming up for you please like and subscribe and um, thank you for being here, and I will see you all soon. Take care, Aquarius. Bye-bye.